Hey guys, this is Rob here again. Today we got another mechanical mod review to do, and this is on the Origin, the Tobacco Origin. Okay, so I got this from a company called Spain Cigar, and I've been talking with one of the people down there, and uh, they sent me some stuff to do reviews on for their website. Okay, so I did get these for a purpose of review, and uh, this here is the Mechanical Origin Mod Clone, okay, and uh, this is a 22 millimeter device. It does have adjustable 510 pins. It does have adjustable for battery rattle. It does have an adjustable switch, so you can do the adjustable switch. It does have breathing halt vents on the top. So I've been using this here for a little while, and I ought to say it, this thing works pretty decent. It's just a little Tobacco Origin clone mod. So, got to take the lock off. And so it does have a locking ring also. And from the vapor production on this, I have noticed this thing does hit pretty nice. I don't know what the actual voltage drop is on this. I need to check it. I have not done the check on it yet, but this thing does work pretty nice. So let's dive on down here on the table and uh, take a look at it up and close. So okay guys, this is the way it came to me. This is the box that it came with. It says Together Best Corporation, which is actually tobacco from what a lot of people call it. So this is a nice little box comes that it comes in. Got the little clock and everything on there nice little the mod showing the mod let's open this up okay so once again nice sturdy little box so it does have little foam padding in there and it does come with your uh, uh, your kick tube right here or you can set this mod up for 18350 mode you can set it up for 18500 mode or 18650 mode and 18650 with the kick. Okay, so you got every option you could think of with this. Okay, and nothing else came with this. As far as I know, there's nothing else that came with this. Okay, so put that off to the side. So here it is once again with the Crown RDA on it. So let's go ahead and take the crown RDA off this so we can just take a better look at this okay so this this is not a 22 millimeter this is a 21 millimeter device okay this is 21 millimeters I might have said 22 millimeter but this is 21 millimeter okay and it does come with all the extension tubes okay it does have uh, it does have reversible top cap for a different look and feature so you can reverse the top cap on this so it does also have top cap airflow control ring so this does have a control airflow control ring okay I don't know if we can get that off there or not so let's take this thing here apart this does have nice smooth threads. I haven't had any issues with the threads. They are nice and smooth. Take the battery out here. So there's your top cap here. There's one extension tube. There's the other extension tube, the bottom. And then there's your bottom switch. Okay. So it does have a floating connection center pin. The center pin is floating. Okay. So basically, I push it in, and I don't know if you guys can see this, but as I thread that on, the pin will slowly come out. Just slowly, as you can see it, it's starting to come out right now. So that is nice. It's just a, a floating pin. So whatever RDA you stick on this, it will fit and work just fine. Okay. So... The bottom switch is spring. It is not magnetized. It is spring. 
and it does have the locking ring and it does have battery venting okay so there you go there's a nice little locking ring right there so it is reverse threading okay so let's go ahead and take the bottom switch apart so we just take this little Delrin off we can take the let's just take this contact out here we don't need to worry about the Delrin now the Delrin is an adjustable Delrin so that way it adjusts for battery rattle so we'll take this little pin here off this is brass contacts so there we go we'll take that pin off and then we'll take the Delrin insulator off and then it does have the this in there I have not had this apart so I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get it apart that's on there nice and tight right there we won't mess with that and yeah, we won't mess with that that is nice and tight in there so we're not going to take that off it does have a little threaded ring there you can take off for cleaning but this is a spring this is a spring loaded item here really kind of want to get that off so we can look at this Let's see if I can get this off I don't know it's awfully tight yeah I'm having a hard time getting that off nice and tight in there so I don't think we'll worry about taking that off uh, no I need to get some pliers on this so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. You guys all know what springs look like. So we're not going to worry about it. So you can put this insulator on there. This insulator does make up for battery rattle. see if we can get it back in there now there we go then we'll put the bottom contact back on put the bottom contact back on so I noticed the insulator I do got to have it out a little bit like about like that to kind of make up for the battery rattle but you also want your 510 connection to be up underneath that. Okay, so we got it up underneath there. So there you go. That's the bottom switch. We did not get it taken apart, but it is uh, just spring loaded up in there. And you do got your venting holes down in there. Okay. So. Okay, so let's take this here back off, the RDA, and then let's see if we can get, wow, everything's just nice and tight on there. There we go. Did get that off so we can adjust this out. 
Okay, so this does come off. So you can have this look, or you can flip it over and have this look, however look you want. Okay, and then it does have breathing right there. So if you want to put just a regular tank on this, you just raise that up and, and you'll have venting. Okay. That is venting for your top, for your battery. So it does have venting in there, as you guys can tell. I don't know how much of this I'm getting on the camera, but see, you do got venting on there. And you can take this and flop it around and then have it just like this. Or you can put it back, have it this way. Your choice, whatever you want. You got venting hole there and venting hole on this side. That's the same same hole venting okay we'll just put it like that I like the nice little venting areas right here or those really don't even look like venting to me they just look like little designs in there so let's put this bad boy back together like I say you gotta get it lined up nice smooth threads once you get it all lined up put the nice locking ring I haven't had any problems with the locking ring sticking or anything and we'll put this back on let's go ahead and throw the battery in here and let's go ahead and put the top on here it's a nice looking little mod here So there you go. There it is again, once again, with the Crown RDA. Like I say, this has been a nice little mod. Nice little etchings down there. It says Origin on there. Okay. You got your little serial number or made number. Okay. And nice brushed stainless steel. It's not 100% smooth type of steel. It has some little... Uh, lines going all the way through there, machining lines all the way through there, but that is this is a nice little mod right here. Nice hits every time. Had not had any problems with anything. Anywhere I push this, it hits. Okay, so let's bring this back up at the top. We'll vape on a little bit more and talk a little bit more. All right, guys, so that's the Origin, Tobacco's Origin clone mod. And like I say, I did get this from a company called Spain Cigar. And for their prices, they do have their prices are in Euro dollars, okay? But uh, in, a, in a, so for Euro dollars, this is 26 Euros, okay? So in American dollars, they're selling this for $35.35. So this is $35.35. That's $26 in Euro. $26 in 26 Euros is is uh $35.35 in US dollars. Okay. So would I buy one of these? Yeah, this is a real nice little mod. It's pretty nice brass contacts a brush stainless steel mod tube mod you got all your different tubes for your kicks your 650 mode 18650 your 18350 your 18500 all your different modes so you can do anything you want with this little mod here excellent vapor production with it hits every time no matter where I hit that button, that button fires every time. Nice little designs right there. That's why I put the crown on there because it's got that nice little little uh, groove designs in there. It kind of flows along with the crown's bunch of little hole designs around it too. Okay, so 
all in all this is a real nice mod and if would I buy this yeah I'd buy it okay guys so I will put a link in the description for Spain cigar so you guys can go and check out their website they sell e-liquids they sell mods they sell RDAs they sell anything from a tobacco line they sell uh, let's see here yeah they they sell the they got the 26650 Hades they got the black panzer the 26650 tobacco black panzer and they actually on their website they actually got everything separated like all their tobacco mods are on one section uh, all their art tobacco RDAs are on one section and if you look at their website if you go onto the mods they got a uh, UED UED uh, technology stuff they got uh, pages for that they got a page for strictly Sigali mods and stuff they got uh, a pages for just hot sig they got pages just for Anakin pages just for Pioneer for you pages just for Yi Long they got pages for E hookahs and they got battery mods Canthal wick wire they sell cloud poor Aspire they got all kinds of different brand companies. They got set everything separated, so it's just not a big bunch of mods all in there. And you got to try to pick what you want. You just go to the website. You can pick Tobacco, Pioneer for you, whatever you want, Aspire, whatever. So I recommend checking them out. Uh, they sent these to me. It took three days. I got all this in three days, and it came UPS. All right. So okay, guys. Till next time.